Hello and welcome to this session. Today we are going to learn how to use dynamic data in a request in Catalon Studio API testing project. So this is a project that we have been creating in our earlier sessions. So I will go to my Catalon Studio and you can see this is the project that we have already created. And in this project we have already added some SOAP API web services. So let me take an example of get currency. And here you can see in this API we are, we are passing a currency or a country ISO code and in the response we will get the currency of that particular country and we are using a variable here country ISO code and if I go to the variable section you can see this is getting referenced from the global variable country ISO code so if I go to the profiles and I have two profiles as of now I am using the QA profile here and if I go to the QA profile you can see the country I code here is IN which is being used now to change this or uh, use any values at the request level what I will do is I can create a new test case so I will say new test case and I will name this as test 3 and I will say this as dynamic request data and yes this is created I will add send request keyword and I will add get currency here and yes that's it if I go to the script view you can see this is how it looks like so we have send request web services keyword and this is our API that we are calling now if you want to choose any value in the request and we want to give it from our request here itself and use any dynamic data from here what I can do is I can just give a square brackets here and then inside the square brackets I will give the variable name so in our case here in get currency we are using a variable country ISO code so I will say copy this and give it here and then I will say the value here is let us say US and I will run this so let me just run this and let us see if this is running fine so yes uh, this looks like this is running fine and to also verify we will add a step to verify and for that what I'm going to do is I will run this API request from here and go to the verification and here I will add a snippet so to check a particular value in the response I can go to the response click on that particular value and press command plus k on my keyboard or control k in case you are on windows and it will create this snippet so i'm just going to copy this entire snippet and go to my test case and use it here so what it is doing is it is using verify element text keyword and using the uh, variable response so i will have to use the same variable i will use it and store my response from the first step into a variable called response and it is being used here and here it is verifying the uh, currency so I will say this should be equals to dollars because I am using the currency code as US and if I run this now let us just wait so this is running and yes everything is okay you can see our verification is also successful and if I change this currency code here dynamically let us say I use a country code for Vietnam which is VN and I save this and run this again so this time this should fail and let us wait and check the output yes this is running and you can see if I go to the logs this has failed and if I go to this failure step it says unable to verify element text because we were expecting dollars but the actual element is dong which is the currency of Vietnam so this is working fine and also if you go to the API request you can see here we are using two variables which is country ISO code and authorization and if I just go to this plus and go to this drop down and say add to a new test case or add to existing test case and I select this test case that we just created and say OK so you can see it has added it and if I go to the script view you will see let me just minimize or decrease the font 
you can see it has already added all these variables within the request and we can edit it from here so this is how you can uh, use these values and edit it from the request and use dynamic data in your request i hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching